Hey, it's Ryan from Hunting Waterfalls and I love this Camelback Podium bottle. However, the lid can be difficult to clean and you can actually get mold underneath here on the mouthpiece as well as there's some rubber gaskets in there that you want to clean. So every now and then you want to actually completely disassemble and pull apart this lid to clean it thoroughly to make sure that there's no mold and you keep the mold away. Now Camelback do have a small instructional video on how to do it but they actually only partially pull it apart. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fully disassemble and clean it and how to reassemble it as well. So to begin, as you can see, it says remove to clean. We can pull apart that stopper as well as this plastic ring too. Now, there are some tabs on the side here. If you go ahead and push them in, then this will push this out. Now you wanna have it in the locked position when you go ahead and do this. So we push those to the side and push this out. You can already see this rubber O-ring here and this can actually collect a lot of mold under there which you obviously don't want to be exposed to. So if we go ahead and push this out, then that goes ahead and pops out. Now Camelback says you should just stop there. However, I highly disagree with that as you can also get mold inside the jet valve in here. As you can see, these little crevices and things inside the jet valve, you can get mold in there. Really difficult to clean while it's still in here, so we want to be able to actually pull that out, as well as pull apart this O-ring and pull this off as well. So, in order to get this off, it's actually really difficult to do with your hands. You can go ahead and use tweezers for this, but I actually like to use a butter knife. You really want to make sure you don't actually break the plastic here. We're just trying to lever it up a bit in order to get it off. So now that it's leave it up, it should come off with my hands. And in order to get this O-ring off, again, difficult to do with your fingers, so just with the knife, we can go ahead and kind of get under there, and then we can get that off so that we can clean that as well. So now we want to go ahead and get out this jet valve. So to do that, again, put my butter knife in, just kind of lever off the side to pop that out. You want to be careful with it. Obviously, we don't want to break that plastic. Now that you've got everything pulled apart, you can go ahead and clean the individual pieces. I like to soak them in one part vinegar, one part water overnight in order to just completely kill the mold. And then I'll go ahead and I'll give them a good scrub. Now I've got this little bottle brush, which works really well for getting in here to clean those, as well as I'll just use like a regular sort of dishcloth in order to clean all of these bits. But these ones can be particularly hard as well as the jet valve, which is why this little brush is so good just to kind of get in those holes and things like that. So I'll link up to the set that contains this brush in the description down below, but I find that really useful to get into the mouthpiece and everything like that in order to clean it. Once you've cleaned it, you want it to be completely dry. So air dry everything, make sure it's completely dry and we'll begin the reassembly process. So we're just going to do the same process in reverse order. So we'll start with the little jet valve here. Now we wanna make sure that it's pointing downwards. So we've got our bits of plastic that kind of point in this direction. I've got this upside down and I go ahead and pop that into there. I can kind of push it down with my fingers until you hear it click into place. Then go ahead and put this O-ring gasket back on. So I'll just stretch it over there, roll it up, and that will fall back into place. We'll go ahead and get our mouthpiece back on as well. I remember this being, I remember this being extremely difficult to do. It's probably the hardest part of the process. So I've pushed it and then grabbed it down with my finger, and then I'll just work my way around pushing it down until it completely goes on. Then we can go ahead and re-put this in in the locked position again, which is how we removed it. So we've got these tabs on the side, and so we need to push those in in order to get this into place. And then we can go ahead and push this down. As you can see, it wasn't completely aligned, that's fine. I'll just move it into the locked position and then push it down completely. And the O-ring that's here will now be completely hidden. Flip it over, we can go ahead and put on this plastic ring here till that clicks into position. And then we can put the stopper cap back on as well. And then we can put it back on our bottle and we are clean and ready to go on our next adventure. 
I will provide links to a written guide on exactly how to do this with pictures if you want to follow along that way in the description down below. Otherwise, go ahead and check out my video on how to disassemble the Eddy Plus bite valve lid. This lid's quite difficult to actually get apart and disassemble so you can clean the mold from inside the lid. If you've got one of these bottles, go ahead and check that out.